Hi Snouts, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be telling a story time about how I almost died and got kidnapped all in one day. birthday October the 13th through the 20th and so my boyfriend really wanted to drive the four wheel we signed up first of all let me start here we signed up for four wheel um driving like you know what I mean the four wheelers four by fours that's what we that's what we thought we were doing so we get there and it's not the four by four like you know what I mean four wheelers it's actually the two-seater um, carts. Like, they go, like, really fast. And, like, you ride them in the sand dunes. But, like, you know what I mean? You wear a helmet. And there's no, like, windows or nothing. It's just, like, a steel rod with doors. And then there's two people. So my boyfriend was driving and I was riding, right? And this is the reason why I should have never, ever, ever moved forward and even went out to do this this exercise or this adventure because one I'm a real I'm scared of that you know what I mean for two I'm not really into thrills like I don't really like to be on fast moving cars uh, that's trains I'm, I'm not I'm not adventurous no. I'm, I'm not with any of that so I remember him saying in the like so right before we pulled out like to start our trail they give you a briefing the briefing is you can't like you can't smash on the brakes when you're going down because the cart will flip and you can't turn hard on someone like on the sand dunes because the car will flip and the very last thing he said as he was kind of like getting in his car in his car to close the door was oh yeah there's no insurance on these vehicles i'm like what there's no insurance on these vehicles he's like no the insurance company won't insure them you know what i mean that's when i should have politely took my helmet off and got my little self out of that car and kind of just waited until they were done so i'm like Okay, this must be like a Dubai thing. Cause I've never heard of you having a tour or an adventure or something. And you, you're not, nothing, this stuff is not insured. So we're driving, we're probably like 30 minutes into this ride. Boom. The freaking car flips over. Of course, nobody's hurt but me. My boyfriend flips the car over. So the car flips at least two times. And so we're rolling in the sand. like. Helmet, my knees is all bust up. I'm like, yo, I, I actually flew out the car. So, you know what I mean? Everybody's rushing over just to make sure, you know what I mean? Nothing is broken or nothing. So I'm like, I kind of like was like about to cry. I'm like, I'm looking, I'm like, yo, I really, like, I really don't want to do this anymore. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I've had enough. You know what I mean? I, I kind of want to just go back to, you know what I mean, to to, to real land. Like, I don't want to do this, this sand stuff. Like, I've had, en I've had enough. So he's like, well, we still have to drive for 15 minutes to get to, like, the gas station. And he's like, so I'm going to take you guys up this cool, like, mountain thing. Like, not a mountain, but this cool, like, sand dune thing where you can see the whole desert. So I kind of think to myself like, you know what I mean, what goes up must come down. So if we get all the way up there, how the hell is we going to get down? So we drive all the way up. So to get down, it's like a hill where you just like plummet down and ride down. So when we get to the top, I'm like, I don't want to go down this way. Like, I want to go back down the way that we came. So the guy, the tour guy, it was me. My, me and my boyfriend was in one car, the tour guy, he was in one car, and then there was this other kid, he was in another car. So I'm like, no, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this. So we go, so I, we, so my boyfriend like, well, fuck it, we don't have no choice, we have to go. So we start, he drives down this 
this hill. The car is at least going like 40 miles per hour. That's fast as hell to be in a cart with no windows, a flimsy ass door. So I'm like, oh my God. I start screaming. I tell him like, I'm like, I tell him not to press the brakes. Because I remember in the in the beginning, they said when we pressed the brakes, it's gonna flip. So he didn't press the brakes. So like we're flying down this hill. We hit a rock. The car flips over. My helmet falls off. My knees are bloody red. I'm like, I jump out that car and I'm like, there's no fucking way I'm getting back in that car. I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm like tears. I'm like crying tears, tears, real tears coming yeah. down my eyes. So the guy was like, okay, the gas station was maybe like three minutes away. He's like, go to the gas station. I already called somebody to come pick you up. We get to the gas station, the guy comes in the truck, picks us up. We're like an hour away from the campsite. So we ride back in the truck, knees all busted up. I'm crying, my head hurt, my back hurt, my legs hurt. I'm like, yo, how did I get myself into this? You know what I mean? We get back to the campsite or whatnot. So we like, you know, can somebody take us back to our hotel? Now, side note, the hotel we were staying at the W Hotel in Dubai, which was amazing. The concierge, they hooked us up with this ride. You know what I mean? So the ride was like, I think it was like $800 to do this. Um, so the concierge, he hooked us up with it. We just paid him and he, you know what I mean? He called the people, they came and picked us up in the hotel. So like me, I'm kind of a little bit of a complainer. This is another side note. So so this story come full circle. I all, like if, if I'm at a restaurant, my food's not right, I'm going to send it back. So we went to Cheesecake Factory the night before and my food came and it wasn't right. So I was like, you know, I don't want it. He was like, stop sending stuff back. Why you gotta be so difficult? You know what I mean? I'll just pay for it. And so then that was one instance. He just told me like, I just need to chill and just, you know, roll with the punches. So then the second instance that he told me I need to chill and roll with the punches was, we signed up to go hot air balloon riding and the, we were supposed to see like the sun rise and so instead of seeing the sunrise by the time we got to the campsite the sun was already risen so i'm like this is not what we signed up for we should go another day he's like you know just chill just chill like you just complain so much like no just go with the punch you can still do the hot air balloon just chill so i'm like okay cool so i'm thinking like okay well maybe i am too uptight and too like nitpicky i'm like okay i'm chilling Fast forward back to campsite, right? So we like, we want to go back to our hotel. You know, it's so convenient when you get out of town. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers don't know how to, how to speak English. You know what I mean? It's always, all of a sudden when you taking my money, everything is good, you understand English completely, 100% okay. And as soon as something gets a little shaky, now all of a sudden you only speak Arabic. Or you only speak Whatever, language, whatever your native language is, then English is all of a sudden so hard for you to understand. So we get to the, get inside the campsite, the guy said, before we take y'all back to y'all hotel room, y'all gotta pay 6,500 US dollars for that cart y'all was dropping because they had like a ding in there or something. Well, mind you, of course I have a ding in it. The cart flipped five times. Like, what do you mean? It's gonna have a ding in it. It's not my fault that you have insurance. But you know what? I said, chill. I'm gonna chill. So I walked outside because I left, I left my boyfriend in there because he said, I complain too much and I don't know how to chill. So you know what? I said, you know what? Cool. I'm gonna go get in the car. You know what I mean, babe? You can figure this out. Cause you know what I mean? You say I, I be doing too much and I'm always complaining and I'm always, you know what I mean, fussing and making a big, you know what I mean, making a big noise. So I'm like, you know what? I'm busted up, my knees hurt, my back hurt, I almost died. You got it, babe. So I go get in the car. So I'm sitting in the car. And I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. So right now, maybe like 15 minutes go by. So he come back and get in the car. I'm like, what's happening? What happened? He's like, man, can you go in there and talk to them? I said, what? You want me, the complainer, the one that needs to chill, to go in there and talk to them? He's like, man, they try to make me pay the $6,500 for that car. He was like, you know, I know once you go in there, I ain't, we're not paying for nothing. I said, oh, check you out. Now all of a sudden you want little old me to go in there 
and make shit right. But when I was trying to make shit right about my food, I was doing too much. When we paid to go on that ride that we didn't get what we paid for, I was doing too much. I need to just chill or relax and you would just pay for it. But now you don't want to pay for something because it's not right. Well, none of the stuff I was complaining about was right. So he's like, man, just please just go in there and talk to them. Like, I don't really feel like dealing with them. Just go in there and talk to them. I'm like, are you sure? Because you know I'm going to take it to the extreme. If I get out and get in there and I don't almost die, what I got to say to these people is not going to be nice. He was like, do your thing. I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm going there. I'm like, yo, can y'all take us back to the hotel? They like, um, well, the owner's on the phone. And the owner said, that you, we can't take you back to the hotel if she paid us $6,500. I said, why I'm not paying $6,500? Because it's not my father, you don't have insurance, too. We didn't flip over the car on purpose. It's not like we we followed all the rules. We wasn't going faster than the instructor. We didn't go off course. We didn't do any of this stuff. This was this is the cost of doing business that your vehicles will flip. Like you know what I mean? Like that's not our fault that the vehicles flip because that's the cost of doing business. Like we didn't do anything. We abided by all the rules. So the guy was like, "Well, we can't let you go." What? Because the last time I checked. If I want to leave a vicinity, a place, and a person is not allowing me to do so, that's considered kidnapping in America. So I don't know if y'all abide by the same rules in Dubai, but in America, if I want to leave somewhere and you telling me I can't leave, you're kidnapping me. So, so I start saying, so what are you telling me that you're trying to kidnap me? So I like start panicking, like I'm putting on like a whole show. I know my, my boyfriend got the one to roll down. He just looking and shaking his head like, this girl is crazy as hell. So the guy's like, we're gonna call the police. Please call the police. Cause the, you gonna go to jail because at this point you're kidnapping me. So what you gonna tell them that you, that you call the police to tell them that one, you are driving, you know what I mean, American citizen in uh in a broken down four by four with no insurance, I can't wait till the police get here. But in the meantime, take me back to the hotel. So when you call the police, tell the police to meet us at the W because I don't want to be here. So he got the owner on the phone. So I'm on my phone, I don't call the W. I'm like, yo, y'all need to send the police. I don't know where I'm at. They got me held hostage. I feel like I'm being kidnapped. I feel like my life is in danger. I don't know what's going on. And so like the, the W Hotel, they freaking out like, where, oh my God, where you at, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm an American citizen and I need to get out of this place. Now, mind you, I'm in the middle of the desert. There's no way I can just walk off or leave. You can't call an Uber. I'm in the middle of the desert, like literally like me deep in the desert. So the owner gets on the phone. So I tell the owner, I said, listen, at this point, your company is kidnapping me. I'm not paying it. So they like, well, we got to wait on your instructor to come so he can tell his side of the story. I said, that's cool, but he going to have to tell his side of the story at the hotel because I'm ready to go. So he's like, okay, they finna take you. I said, yeah, they need to take me right now because at this point, you're holding me against my will and I've been held against my will for the last 45 minutes. Big problem right now. Now, mind you, my boyfriend is not seeing anything. He's just sitting there like, finally, the our instructor comes off the ride. So mind you, it's, it's like an hour and a half later. So the instructor is basically saying, it's our fault, you know what I mean? We wasn't listening to him, we were going too fast, so we gotta pay $6,500, which really is, he didn't wanna have to pay to fix that car, so he, he blamed us. I said, yo, I'm not paying, not, I'm not paying to fix the car. So that's how, you know what I mean? One, two, I've been held against my will for the last hour and a half. Three, I wanna go back to my hotel. So like now I'm like, I'm going to, I can't wait to talk to these people at the W Hotel. I'm like, what kind of, like what kind of, first of all, this is not even what I paid for. I paid for it to go four by four riding. You know what I mean? I was in a dune buggy. I didn't pay to get in a dune buggy. I didn't pay to go sand, dungeon riding, sand coasting, sand surfing. I didn't pay for none of that. I paid to go on a four by four, nice flat surface ride. So we get back to the W, right? So the guy who was so nice, 
love the W. If I ever go back to Dubai, which I seriously doubt since I feel like I was almost kidnapped and almost died there. But if I did ever go back, I would stay at the W Hotel. It was amazing. So we get back, the concierge, she runs outside. Because by this time, I didn't call I thought it does me so many times, they probably think like I'm being kidnapped and hell hostage and probably might have already died. You know what I mean? That's the way I kind of like was making it seem. But I needed just some type of sense of urgency on everybody's end. So we get back to the guy, he's like waiting on us. He's like waiting on us and he get back to the to the car. He sit down and talk. So I tell my side of the story. So now we're talking to the W. So it's me. My boyfriend, he's not saying nothing. He like, I'm just gonna let her handle it. And then the guy. So it's me and the instructor. So he's sitting there saying like, it's our fault. I said, it's not our fault. Like, you know what I mean? We didn't pass you up, we didn't. And if we did, show me pictures or camera, because at this point, I'm a customer. And the customer's always right. And we didn't do nothing wrong. And so the guy, he was telling his side story. So then the concierge ended up saying, just give us a hand read. Um, Y'all can just go upstairs. You know what I mean? Everything is good. We'll figure it out. So, at that point, we just end up hobbling upstairs, getting the hell up out of there. I don't know what happened with the $6,500, but I don't know if the W paid the man the $6,500. I don't know if the man never got reimbursed the $6,500. But I just know we didn't pay the $6,500. So, on the elevator, my boyfriend like, you are good. He was like, you deserve a award for the for the performance you put on out there. I said, oh no, not the girl that you wanted to chill. And so the next day, uh, the W actually sent us like a bunch of food, flowers, all kinds of stuff. And then like, we wanted to go like to the gold sook and to the mall and stuff. And so like they arranged for us to drive around the um, the country and like this like the most expensive Bentley. We had like a driver. We went everywhere. Like they rolled up the red carpet because they felt so bad. And it was probably because of how frantic and panic and dramatic I sounded on the phone. But I did feel like I was being kidnapped. And it was just like you know like a bunch of guys walking around in those white dresses with the nice turbans on. And I just get really nervous when you speak to me in English and then you talk to everybody else and y'all talking y'all native language, so I don't know what y'all talking about. That, 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 I don't really like that. So, from that experience, I have a new rule that I don't do any activities that require you to sign a waiver. So if I get there and you want me to sign a waiver about my life, I can't do it. So New Year's Day, we went to Miami and you know, they wanted to go jet skiing. And we get to the place, they start passing out waivers. Guess who didn't go? Me. I was like, you really not gonna go? I said, bro, I'm not getting on nothing. I'm not doing anything that requires me to sign a waiver that makes the, the person not responsible for my death. Nah, I'm cool, I'm cool. I'm cool, not into it, I've done it once, mm, nah, it's not for me, I'm not, I'm not risking my life for a 30 minute thrill, I'm not signing away all my rights to my life to get on the jet ski, I'm just, I just won't do it, I'm not doing it, I'm sorry, I'll hold everybody's stuff and I'll be right here when you get back, and so he thinks I'm crazy, but that's my story on how I almost died and almost got kidnapped all in one day in Dubai. So if you like this story time, guys, make sure you like, you subscribe, and you comment below. And let me know if you guys want to hear more story time. It's some pretty crazy shit that happens.